All right, how's it going, everyone? I'll have a little talk about um, if I were to potentially redo how I learned how to code, like back back when I was in college or back when I was like a senior in high school, that's when I all first started looking into code. What would I have done differently? And I want to kind of share that information with you all and hopefully can help you kind of gauge your direction of like where you want to be. Um, so the first thing I would kind of recommend that you do is find the discipline or motivation to stick to one tech stack. I know there's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of technology you can jump around to. And I think I even have a video of me like kind of explaining or venting about like all my repositories I have created. Like I have 102 repos, some of them for my YouTube tutorials and stuff. But a lot of them are just like me jumping around from tech stack to tech stack, learning new things. If I was to redo this, I would have stuck to one tech stack, preferably something that's web-based like PHP or whatever was hip at the time. And I would have just stuck with that web stack and just become really, really good at it and be able to build actual applications using that web stack. Um, I think what happened back when I was learning the code is I learned Java and then like the next year I switched to C and then I switched back to Java and then I switched to PHP and then I switched to JavaScript and then Node came out I switched to Node. So I kept jumping around from all these technologies and really like it wasn't helping me progress in my career. It was just kind of keeping me stifled for like my learning. So I would recommend like if you're starting off with learning how to code, just pick a tech stack and just stick with it. Like turn off social media, delete Twitter, delete YouTube, stop watching people hype up these new technologies that just come out because honestly, like those things don't matter. What matters is that you become really proficient at one language, you learn how to problem solve, and you learn how to use a tech stack proficiently well so that you can kind of build whatever you might want to in the future. So that's kind of the first thing I would recommend. The second thing I would recommend is Try to build out a large scale project, all right? So I know it takes a lot of effort and a lot of dedication to just pick on one project, but I think there's a huge benefit to actually building out a real life project. Um, this could be like a, something that you enjoy, like a personal hobby, and you find an application that you can build for this hobby and make sure that this application has like authentication, Maybe you can add some type of different role-based authorization, like you have like an admin role versus like a user role. You know, set up some social media sign-ins. Um, in this current age, like setting up some type of GitHub credentials or um, not GitHub credentials, but sign in with like GitHub or sign in with Twitch or sign in with Google. Like there's so many libraries out there that allow you to do it with like you know, a day worth of effort if you just follow the tutorials and kind of like read through the readme's but it's good to have like a large scale project that you can actually show people when you're looking for a job and not only that like you just learn a lot more building out a large scale project i know a lot of things i did is like i built out a lot of small things like small games and i jumped from one game to the next and i never would actually like finish the game or i never would actually like build anything big because like it was just too much work <laughs> and I was lazy. I'll be honest. I was lazy at the time and you know, it's hard for me to stay focused, but like I got like a connect Four thing. I got like a minesweeper. So you can see I have like all these like small little projects that I built back in 2017. I was already coding full time at that time. So these are probably for YouTube. But if I go back, like all the way back to when it first happened, you know, when I first learned how to code, I think I had like one project that, I started working on that was actually like a larger scale project. I think it was called Setter. And I kind of regret that I never actually stuck with this because I could have stuck with this and actually built out a real like SaaS application and I could have been making money by selling this thing to climbing gyms potentially. But with my lack of focus, you know, I never actually finished it. I jumped around from different tech, I jumped around to building different projects. I had like this cool idea to work on it for like two weeks and then I quit and I go work on something else. So. My advice, number two, my tip number two that I'm trying to get at, focus on something big and just keep on adding features to it. I believe there's like a couple of people in my Discord are actually doing this and you know, like every day they're messaging me and like asking for feedback on this application that they're trying to build out. So if you're already doing that, like just keep doing it because I think this is the best way to like become good at programming is building out a real life large scale application. Um, Tip number three, I don't know if I have more tips after tip number three, but tip number three 
It's something I kind of regret when I was learning the code. And that was I never actually reached out to find like a mentor. I never reached out to join a community of coders. And granted, this was back in like 2011, 2012. So like the biggest community you could join at the time would be like online forums. You know, Stack Overflow might have existed at the time, but there's so many elitist hostile programmers that it's not really fun to go off and like ask these people for help. In this day and age, there is so much more, you know, there's so many more resources out there. Like I have a whole discord of like people just trying to learn how to code and they can like ask each other questions. And like this didn't exist back when I started learning the code. So like if you're learning the code now, like you're kind of blessed that you have all these different ways that you can find other people and connect with other people, learn how to code together. And not only that is like you can actually find any of these YouTubers who you know, teach programming, you can go to their channel and you can like, usually they have a discord link and you can go and join their discord. And a lot of these YouTubers, at least the smaller ones will answer you back when you have questions because like they're here to help you. They're making tutorials to help you learn. So if I was to go back in time, I'd be like, yo, Cody, like find a mentor, uh, find someone that you can talk with on Skype every night and like ask programming questions and kind of give you guidance of like what you're trying to build. I think I was like a lone wolf. I always wanted to do stuff on my own. I know lone wolf is like a bad word. I shouldn't say that, but I was always like, a, you know, I just want to tinker with my projects. Everyone else leave me alone. I don't want to get help from anybody. And I think that really stifled my learning in my career because like, I could have learned so much more if I had someone guiding me and someone telling me like, you know, this is what you should learn. This is what you should not learn. Why are you getting so hung up on this? Like just use another library instead of getting hung up on what you're doing. Um, so that's, I guess my tip number three is like find a mentor or find a community of other people who are really excited or motivated to learn how to code and dedicated to do it every day and just like invest 30 minutes of their day just you know, learning something simple, like even if it's like learning one new CSS property, share that experience with someone else. And if I could go back in time, I would have told myself like, hey, like work harder at joining some type of like meetups. I know in college, I didn't even like join any groups. There's tons of programming groups, I think out there and a lot of people in my, my college of computer science, but I never really, you know, made an effort to make friends or join any type of communities, which was a which kind of sucked i even joined like the programming one year i joined the programming team and like i never really took it seriously i never really tried to interact with many of the other people on the team i kind of just stuck to myself and like here's my problem i just need to solve it so if you're in that mindset like get out of that mindset go find people to work with go find teams or just communities to build stuff with because i think that is one of the best ways that you can actually like not only progress in your technology and like your learning but just you know get good at your soft skills like talking to people in your day-to-day -day. communication with tech is important being humble and being able to help other people is really important and being able to teach is important and those are skills you won't learn unless you actually do i'm trying to think if there's any other things i would have gone back in time and, and told my younger self like you know if you're trying to learn code do this i don't know there's three tips for you if you want a fourth tip you got to pay me some money so i don't know what to tell you but if I think of any other more tips, I might just make another video and kind of talk about it. But anyway, if you want to kind of join my Discord, feel free to. I got, you know, a decent amount of people who come in and ask questions about various things. And, you know, I'd be willing to try to help you if you have any questions. Got like a bunch of, you know, channels. If you have specific questions about React or JavaScript, Node, CSS, whatever, feel free to post a question there. Maybe we can help you out. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and have a good day and happy coding.